Welcome to the RSP Boiler Room. I'm Matt Waldman with the Rookie Scouting Portfolio. This week, we're going to take a look at Oklahoma State wide receiver Marcel Aitman. He's somewhere in the 6'3", 6'4", range, ranging somewhere between 215 to 225 pounds. We'll see how all that shakes out at pro days, weigh-ins, all-star games, combine, that kind of thing. Um, but we're going to take a look at four plays from this Oklahoma State wide receivers game. This won't be one of them. Um, so that you get an idea a little bit about what he does well, what he needs to work on, things that could translate to the pro game. We're going to start with him. He's up at the top of the screen. This is with inside shade, drifting off. Usually inside shade means man. We're going to watch Aitman through this play all the way through. And you get about, oh, 12 yards on the play. So let's, let's break it down a little bit more. The first thing that I like about his approach as a route runner is how he comes off the line. He gets his pads over his knees. See how his pads are leaned over his knees? That sells the vertical eye concept of the route. So keeping your pads low, and his pads are low enough. They could be a little bit lower, but he does a pretty good job all the way through here. And then as he gets to that break, you can see that long step. That's a pretty good sign when you can get that long step out there to come to a stop and then take a few break steps into that hard break on this curl route and then break back to the ball. So from a, from a basic route running standpoint, there are some good things that he's doing here. You got the pads over the knees. You got the one long step. You got the drop and weight in the hips like he's sitting in a chair. And when he comes to a stop, it takes a few steps for him to do that. And then he's able to push off that foot and then come back to the ball to make the catch. I also like that he knows where to go immediately. He has a game plan of where to run, and he turns outside immediately, he runs through a wrap. He's a big enough guy that you can't just reach for him or wrap him. you got to hit him like that, like number 32 just did coming from the inside here. Here's 32. You're going to see him plant that shoulder and head right into, into the chest. That's what's going to take down a receiver like Aitman. Reaches and wraps won't do it. Hits and wraps are what has to happen here. Now this route, it's a similar route up at the top here. Single left, inside shade again from the cornerback drifting off. And you're going to watch, let's watch the top of this break. See how he dips his head there? This is something that I saw Michael Thomas do a lot at the top of his routes at Ohio State, and he still occasionally does it in New Orleans as well, but it's a little more refined nowadays. What I like about this play is, first, you see how he gets the knee bend there and he's almost sitting in the chair. You can see that he has an aptitude for hard breaks. He's able to flip those hips and drop that weight, and that's only going to be something that I think he gets better at. The dip of the head, I don't particularly like that. Now, I think it's coached in a lot of circles, to kind of drop that head at the top of the break to make a sudden movement and kind of hammer it down like that, I think it's inauthentic. I don't think it's something that, that a receiver really does when they're trying to get downfield and accelerate. But what I do like is note in the stem that he takes a slower pace and then speeds up into, his, into the top of his stem. See how it starts to speed up right there? That illusion of pace change is a good sail technique on a route that breaks back. This is an excellent play. We're going to watch him outside twin left, and he's going to work an out route, and he makes a really nice catch here. Now, you don't see much with the speed turn here, but what I like about this play is how he high points the ball. It's not just that he can reach this high and he can jump, but watch how he turns through the catch and keeps his arms extended so that he can shield the defender. This is awareness that you want to see from a receiver with that kind of athletic skill. You want to see him, one, know that he's near the boundary and that he's going to turn through the catch so that he can keep the ball away from the defender and keep his arms away from his chest and not retract the ball just yet because he knows where the defender is and doesn't want the defender to reach into his body while he's pulling the ball into that area and have it knocked out. And on top of it, he's able to look at the sideline. We're going to see it in a little bit closer viewpoint with this replay coming up. First, you got the leap. See how the hands come together? They could come together a little bit more. The fingertips 
of the ind- of his of each index finger are still not close enough together, which is why he doesn't catch the front end of the ball. He catches the back end of the ball. And then you can see as he turns away, he's still got his arms extended. That's great because the defender's already got his hands in Aitman's torso. Why pull the ball into an area where the defender's hands are going to be? Keep the arms out like he did. That's a very good job. And see where he's looking through downward to where he can plant his feet? Does a very good job of getting both feet in bounds. Let's watch it one more time. And let's pay attention to those hands. See how those hands come up? See how far apart the, fin- the index fingers are? When they're closer together, he, has a, he would be able to catch the front point of the ball. Instead, he catches the middle. See where the eyes are? You can see that he's got his helmet. And he's looking down through that outside arm, looking down towards the ground to where his feet need to stick for the landing. And he does a good of job of even dragging that back foot a little bit. And keeping his arms out, I think, makes sense based on what the defender does. So this is very good awareness and body control. And this is something that will help him in the pro game as he gets better as a route runner. And this is something I'm very encouraged by. You're going to watch him at the top of the screen, run this curl, and then get yards after the catch. But it's not that he's fast or something on that nature, because honestly, from what I've seen thus far, I haven't seen great evidence of vertical speed. He's more of a build-up guy in terms of speed. But watch what he does at the end of this route. You see him break, you see him drop the hips again, and then you see him you know, turn, and he's past the line, the, the first down marker, but he attacks the ball. Watch him, watch him see the cornerback who is on the receiver outside the numbers peel back inside towards the target. And Aitman's going to come back to the ball and attack it past that cornerback. So it's a great job of coming back to the ball and attacking. You want to do that on timing routes. Not only is it because you're going to be able to make the catch past a defender who may peel off another um, receiver, but more importantly is usually when you come back to the ball, you build up some momentum and some speed so that you can then turn away from pursuing defenders and get upfield. And that's exactly what he does here. So attacking the ball, it's a small point, but a lot of college receivers don't do this very well. And they have to get better at this small detail. And when they can, look at how many more yards Aitman gets because of the attack on the ball. So yeah, you can say, well, he he went past the first down marker and you know, route depth's important. Yes, but you need to understand the importance of the context of that type of a statement. It's first and 10. First and 10, route depth isn't as important. What's important for route depth is so that you're in the area where the quarterback's going to throw the timing route. But what's more important is knowing where the position of the defenders are on the field. You're not trying to get the first down here with just the catch right away. You're trying to catch the ball and make sure that you win it and put yourself in a position to gain more yardage. So he does all of those things with attacking the ball. So those are some of the things that caught my eye about Marcel Aitman. Thanks again for watching. For more RSP Boiler Room videos, you can check out my YouTube channel, the RSP Film Room, and my blog, www.mattwaldmanrsp.com.